format is that we maybe I don't know at the end yeah given that we've got enough time we out generally ask questions but I mean what really um, speak up John okay what really um, sang out to me from your in, you know your describing of being on the road with Patty which is really very yeah I can see well any case said that it's very it's very thorough <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, is that they were very studied in the the idea of guys saying, oh, well, she needs a good drummer. She needs a yeah. better guitar player. It, not very. No, it's very casual, but I'm comparing to the London thing. How does that... Yeah, um... <coughs> Patty, when I was talking to Patty about how the... And, and also all the others about how the band came together, and Patty started out... I mean, she was a poet, so she was reading poetry. And then she got into... She went to CBGB's, and she saw a, yet another venue. And that kind of didn't work because everybody else had music. So she talked to Lenny Kay and said, I need a guitar, can you come down and play? And that worked well. And then one night, I'm kind of paraphrasing what she said. One night, that was a disaster, and they said, <coughs> we need a drummer. And so that's how they got the drummer. And then it was, well, this is not really working, we need a bass player. And so they got a bass player. And then it was, uh, we need keyboards on this. And then they found the keyboard player. And then Lenny said, I'm tired of just being the only guitarist. And so the bass player also, who happened to be a guitarist, started playing second guitar as well. But it just kind of, it was never a thought, we're a band. It was, we need music to make this poetry work inside a rock and roll context. Mm. And I think that's, I mean, one of the things that really struck me when I was doing this piece again, <coughs> Patty's old enough that, you know, I mean, she's, her memory, you know, things she remembers in terms of popular culture and, and learning uh, and reading, she's pre-rock and roll, you know, so her go-to place to get the rhymes that kind of, you know, liberate you and give you the, the worldview that you get, from, at least I got from rock and roll, she was getting from poetry, pure and simple. And she was, a, you know, it was very, you know, she was a, intellectually able to understand rock and roll when it first hit rather than say certainly the Sex Pistols and the whole punk movement who were like 20 years old in 76 and for me I was 25 at that point I remember from say 58 onwards so you know you kind of it was uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of you grew up with it you know it just 